Hey guys, Tony Maritato here, licensed physical therapist, and I wanna give you a quick little tip. So I've been using these little art supports for a little while now. I've been testing them out here in the clinic. The company, Soul and Soul, has been kind enough to send me some samples so I can see if this is something I'm gonna use with my patient population, especially people who have had a total knee replacement. The knee joint is completely different. So the ankle, the foot, the hip all have to adapt and they adapt quickly. Um, but quick tip with this. So it, when I'm using this for the first time with a new patient in a shoe, there's, it's kind of interesting the way these are designed. So it's flat, completely flat on one side. There's a dome, a raised dome on the other side. There's this little, uh, it says here, peel off protective film. So you would peel that off. It says this side down. So inside the shoe, the dome side actually goes down where you would think the dome side would go up because that's what's lifting the arch. But putting it down allows the foot to sit on it a little more comfortably. Another little trick, so there is a, a foot on here. I don't know that, I, there it is. There's a foot on there and there's a little L that tells you that this is a left side orthotic. So it's gonna go in the left shoe. It's gonna go flat side up, dome side down. And what I always recommend is you take the insert, um, the natural insert that comes in sole, that comes with the shoe, you take that out you put the orthotic in, remember dome side down, that goes in there. Before I stick it, I'm not sticking it yet. I still have the protective film on there. I put it in, I put my insole back, and what that does, it allows me to use it for a couple of days to see if it's something that's gonna react positively with my body. There are some times where even the tiniest little change to the foot and ankle is gonna negatively affect the knee and the hip. So before I stick it in there, before I make it permanent, I go ahead and put it in and I test it. It's underneath the insole that comes with the shoe. So it's really smooth, really comfortable. It's noticeable, but it's barely perceptible. And if you have any kind of foot sensitivities, any kind of skin issues or peripheral neuropathy, this is really the best way to start testing something like that. Um, so give it a shot. Let me know what you think. The company, Soul and Soul, I will post their uh, link down below in the description if you want to see some of their other products. I've got some toe spacers and some heel lifts that I'm going to be testing out sometime next week. Thanks for watching, guys.